Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. You may have seen that incredible video of a car being hit by lightning on the highway. Now we're speaking with the family inside the vehicle when Mother Nature struck. I mean, it's crazy. It was unreal. I was on my uh, iPad playing Fortnite mobile about to drop a fucking 50 bomb. You could ask anybody who plays Fortnite on a mobile 50 bomb. That alone will give you legendary status. But next thing you know, 300 million volts of electricity is being struck through my body fucking through my iPad out the window. And my theory is that Elon Musk is up there shooting laser beams at anything that's not a Tesla. You don't know what he's doing up there. I don't know what he's doing up there. Camera guy has no idea. A 19 year old pistol whip during a home invasion ended up in a scary fight for his life in Wyandotte. Two intruders used a ladder to get into an open window on the second floor of his family's home near Eureka and Fifth. Aaron was hit with the gun and pinned to the ground, but says he was eventually able to knock the weapon away. Yeah, so they got up through the, the front window right there. It was real scary because I was in my room walking one out, and then all of a sudden my window, and I see two dudes going through it. I'm in the middle of you know, beating it. And so right there, I was embarrassed, but at the same time, I had to do something. And so before I can even react, they jump on me, start pistol whipping me. I got a dog I trained for scenarios just like this. That bitch was asleep, had to take matters into my own hands. And so I, I pulled some Avengers type shit, jump on top of him, pause, started bitch slapping him, having fun with it. And then I actually ended up robbing him. Before he left, I told him, give me 20 bucks, get the fuck out of here. A woman is recovering after getting shot by an arrow in a Walmart parking lot. It happened this weekend in West Valley as a woman was walking to her car. New specialist Debbie Worthen is there tonight and joins us live. And Debbie, what happened out there? Well, Dan and Dini, a witness told us that he had just finished his grocery shopping. He was putting his cart away, went about six slots away. He heard a woman scream, so he ran, he approached her. And when he saw what had happened, he couldn't believe his eyes. I was in the self-checkout line because that's where I go to steal. And then I heard a girl yelling in the parking lot, so I run out and she's laying there with an arrow in her. So I go to help, I'm like, Fuck you, I might get hit by an arrow too. So I'm like running around like, call 911, call 911. First 11 new exclusive video just into our newsroom minutes ago, our clearest picture yet of the landing pulled off by that passenger with absolutely no flight experience who grabbed the controls and landed the plane in West Palm Beach when the pilot had a medical emergency mid-flight over the ocean. A medical emergency, whatever you want to call it, that don't explain the half-empty bottle of Jack Daniels I found in the cockpit. Everything was going good though, and I look out the window and I notice we were like nose diving towards the ground. And at first I thought the pilot was just like fucking around with us, but then he didn't pull up. I'm like, holy shit, this might be the real deal. So I run to the cockpit and homie is passed the fuck out. I'm like, nah, I'm not going down like that. I done flew hella planes in GTA. So I just grabbed the sticks. I threw the headset thingy on, told the people, look, I'm the captain now. Absolutely amazing. Hundreds of birds swarm a house. Then they do something amazing. They fly right into the chimney. It's an invasion. That was not a flock of birds. That was a gang, a gang. I know the difference. I did my research. I recognized like four or five of those motherfuckers scoping my place out like a week ago. I knew something was up. And today around five o'clock, I had a couple drinks and that's when they struck. They knew I had a couple drinks. I wasn't drunk, but I wasn't sober either. And that's when they, they, they chose to attack. I seen like four or five of them coming through. Da da da, six, seven, eight, da da da. Once it got to around like 30, that's when I was like, this went to grab my phone to call my boys for backup they took my phone they took my phone from me and so right there i was like man i gotta evacuate i gotta get out of here F this shit y'all can have it I i'm start running away da 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 swat birds pow 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 and then i'm taking beaks to the face wings to the neck like back of the head and shit road rage has been an ongoing issue in the u.s with drivers treating the streets like it's mario kart there's no wonder why we've had more than 500 incidents this month already Another one happened just this past weekend involving two men. You gonna record me? Yeah. You gonna, okay. I'll record you too. You're acting crazy. I'll record, you look dumb. Why are you in the middle of the road? My car is disabled. Your car is disabled? Yeah. Are you disabled? No. Then get the fuck out and push it. You can get out and push it, you were standing right here. You want me to push your car? Yeah. I'll push your car, get your fat ass out and then I'll push it, how about that? Well, what'd you say? I said, get your fat ass out. 
Police say the man abandoned his vehicle and ran on foot for approximately 20 miles before he was taken out by a pit maneuver. Police are now investigating an armed robbery at the Stanford Shopping Center. And KTV's Brooks DeRose looks at how the robbers staged the crime and what they got away with. This all played out in the middle of the day in this parking lot. A couple says they returned to their car after shopping when they were surrounded by five armed men. I mean, they robbed the hell out of us. You got five dudes surrounding you with guns. What are you going to do? My girlfriend's screaming, stop them the whole time. Like I'm fucking Captain America or something. Detectives are trying to determine if happening now at six, a big misunderstanding at a Home Depot in California after shoppers called the police on a man who they say entered the bathroom and warned them to leave because he was fixing to blow this bitch up. It's believed that these thieves may have come up off a local golf course, but police are telling everybody tonight expect an increase in this type of thing as the holidays approach. They took my little brother's PS5 from him while he was playing, just snatched it out the wall. And then they're going to find my account on the same PS5 and message us, y'all got no good games on this bitch. So the reptile everyone is talking about on Facebook tonight. Take a look at this guy, an alligator probably bigger than you've ever seen, crossing a trail in a Polk County Park. Yeah, it really is an unbelievable sight, isn't it? ABC Action News reporter Ryan Race caught up with the brave hikers who captured this big guy in action and explains the backstory of this monster gator. I've seen that gator before. We go way back. We got beef. He got through my back door one time, and I got three dogs. He took all three of them, all three gone. And so, you know, every time we see each other, he already knows what's up. It's on site. We'll hash it out one or two rounds, and then, you know, just we'll go our separate ways. New at 6, an employee at a family dollar in Whitehaven is sounding the alarm on what they call a rat infestation. WRG's Bria Jones shows us some shocking images of the alleged unsanitary working conditions. It's bad. It's been going on for a while. Management don't do nothing about it. I mean, I've punted damn near 20 of those motherfuckers alone. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't broke as hell. I'm broke, broke. Like, let me get two bucks on pump 12 type of broke, so... A pregnant woman begging for money on the street with a young boy drove away in a Mercedes. An outraged viewer contacted Team 10 after snapping pictures of that scene. I'm pissed. I'm mad. I'm down fucking bad. Let me tell you this shit. I pull up to the light. I see her with her kids, so I give her a 20. She pulls off in a Benz? A Benz? Here I am in my Prius. I still got like 12 months worth of bills to pay. The 10, word of a gang wreaking havoc in Maryvale. Yeah, not a gang of thugs, but a gang of chihuahuas. Savages, thugs, gangbangers, whatever you want to call it, these guys have no respect for my neighborhood. I got a dog at home, he's scared shitless. He can't even go outside anymore because these guys, they, they just keep giving him trouble. Just the other day, one of them snuck up, jumped and bit me in the balls, bro. So I had to punt that bitch like 40, 50 yards. Now, animal control tells us they're too busy to patrol the area. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free into the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up.